Hey everybody, I'm Jess Keating, and today on Animals for Smart People, we're talking about vampires. When I say the word vampire, you might think of something like this, or maybe something like this. <gasps> but would you ever think of something like this? There are a lot of birds that eat meat, and most of them are pretty intimidating. You don't want to mess with these guys. But did you know that there is a bird that drinks blood that weighs less than an ounce? You've probably heard of the Galapagos Islands. This is where Darwin did a lot of his research, which ultimately led to the publication of The Origin of Species. The Galapagos are home to the vampire finch. This bird drinks blood. Specifically, it drinks the blood of the blue-footed booby. Now, other animals that drink blood are a little bit nicer about it. Even mosquitoes and ticks numb our skin before they bite us. But the vampire finch method of dining is much more vicious. They use their sharp beaks to stab the blue-footed boobies right in the rump, over and over until they start to bleed. And then, they drink up. Yummy. Once the blue-footed booby is bleeding, other vampire finches will join in, capitalizing on the injury. Why did these otherwise innocent birds start to drink blood? Scientists believe they started by pecking other birds, cleaning off their parasites. Sounds nice of them, right? And it was, until they started pecking hard enough to draw blood. Ow! It sounds awful, but there are a lot of nutritional benefits to drinking blood. All of this might make you wonder, should you become a vampire? Believe it or not, scientists have already studied this question. In 2013, a paper on the mathematical models of interactions between humans and vampires was published in the Journal of Applied Mathematics. They concluded that if humans and vampires were to coexist, great imbalances would occur in our ecosystems, and that the rate of growth in the vampire population would lead to the extermination of 80% of the human population by day 165. So, there's that. Being a vampire might not work for us, but for these little finches, it became the perfect way to stay alive.